it is best to customize the unwind MD with the Penora view retracting the cheek open. Friends, this is how unwind MD is provided commercially. It comes in these carry case boxes. All right. Uh, this is the uh, unwind MD as it appears. The front end is the taller end and it has this groove which is for the labial frenum. You have the back end which is the shorter end for the palatal surfaces and it's the internal surface the hollow chamber in the middle that we reline with either a bite registration paste or with a hard setting cold cure acrylic resin before you reline this always remember to go ahead and try this intraorally position it on the centrals please bite down and make sure that it brings about disseclusion of all the back teeth as you can see on the right side, we have complete disseclusion. Similarly, on the left side, we have complete disseclusion. Now, this is extremely important. Open, please. Now, this deprogrammer is ready for it to be relined. Because I am using a bite registration paste, I will first use a tray adhesive and coat the entire internal surface with it. Although there are some mechanical retentive grooves that have been provided, it is very important that we use a tray adhesive if we are using an addition silicon bite registration paste. That will make sure that the material stays relined inside and does not detach from the acrylic. What am I using to record the patient's maxillary uh, anatomy? I am once again using friends imprint bite. Remember, this is the same material that I used yesterday for the face bow record. We use the same addition silicon bite registration paste to reline the unwind as well. So what do I do? I go ahead and first dispense an adequate amount of material and reline the entire internal cavity. Right? Make sure you dispense enough to cover the entire internal surface. Now you take this into the patient's mouth. Open. Do not press down. I have placed it only partially in. I now take the DT aligner, position it, and then bite down, please. Bite down all the way. Bite, 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 bite. Perfect. As the patient bites down, zooming in, you will be able to recognize that the DT aligner automatically aligns the unwind to the maxillary occlusal plane. Now, why is this called the DT aligner? It is bite down, keep biting. It is called the DT aligner, friends, because the unwind uh, has an inferior surface on which the lower incisors go in contact. That is called as the disoccluding table because it brings about disocclusion or separation of the back teeth. And that is why DT, that is disocclusion table aligner, is what this particular metallic piece is called. Once the entire material is hardened you go ahead and remove the DT aligner and then you retrieve the unwind MD as you can see there is always excess material that will be present bilaterally which is the reason why after retrieving we will go ahead and remove that excess off all right I'm going to pull this down there is adequate retention as you can see because the bite registration paste always sets rigid hard so remember you do this with bite paste you cannot do this with putty all right now the excess that is present i am taking a cutter blade and simply going ahead and slicing it out beyond the confines of the deprogrammer whatever material extends beyond the deprogrammer friends we do not need at all so i simply go ahead and i slice it out this is all we need when we talk about customization of an unwind with addition silicon.